Maybe about two and a half years of kind of just going and kind of beating my head against the wall. And I was like, all right, this isn't working. So like I said, I just started working, uh, I started working a regular job. I actually was working with my, my stepfather at the time. He was, he was a construction worker. And so I was like, all right, I can do what you do. And he's like, all right, let's go. I was uh, working as a Boilermaker's apprentice. So basically, yeah, we'd, um, they were putting up power plants. So literally, you know, like cleaning welds and hauling around tools. And I mean, it was, it was good work. It's heavy work. But like I said, it, it kind of put some hair on my chest, man. It was like, it was like one of those things where like for the first like two, three months, they were trying to run me off. I could tell that they were like, ah, oh, this little kid. Well, just, you know, they had the worst jobs for me. They say, oh, board meeting, kid. And I'd be like, what's a board meeting? Go pick up their boards and go take them over there. <laughs> The boards would be as big as me. But then I think it was like maybe two or three months in, they were like, you know what? This guy actually works really hard. I think they had given me those first two months, I was like inside the inventory shed. And all there was was just heavy, heavy tools. I mean, we had um we had big old chains and hooks that were like 85 pounds. And during that first two months, I cleaned it to where it looked like it looked like something out of a showroom, man. It was so, like, I was proud of it to the point where I was telling people, like, don't go in that, don't go in that room and mess it up. Don't, do it. grown men, don't you do it. <laughs> so they got some respect for me. They eventually were like, all right, like, come on, we, we're going to take, take you up there and, you know, start showing you the actual work, showing you how to weld and showing you how to do all the rigging and everything. And um, so for the last seven months, that's all I did was just like walking around on beams and putting together metal structures and, um, and showing people that, hey, I'm, I may be an actor and I may got, you know, I may got soft hands, but God dang it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use them to lift shit. I'm not scared, you know? After that, it was, um, after that, it was uh, working at a barbecue place. I was a line cook um, and... People ask me, you went from welding to cooking? I said, yeah, at this point, I'm not bothered by being burned at work. So <laughs> it was just another like hot and heavy gig. And um, after I, I did that for maybe about a year, and I believe it was, it was a Valentine's Day and I was working salad station. And oh my God, it was like, it was salads. I think I may have cut open a hundred lettuces that day. And I was like, all right, I'm done. <laughs> all right, guys, I put in my time, boss, I'm out. You know, so after that, I went directly over to retail. at and okay. I could sell anything. Like I was, if you could, if you could convince people to change their, their, their cable plan, you're a wizard, you're a wizard. <laughs> Cause people really like knowing like, oh, TBS is on channel 59. Like they love the familiarity of it. But learning to talk with all these different people and learning how to do sales, that's what I did for the next year and a half. I, I always did, um, I always transitioned um, to a regular job and kind of lifestyle with the purpose of using that as like a fact-finding mission. You go out and you see all of these stuff. It's like an, uh, like an expedition. You know, you go out and you see the world and you take it and you... you you make all of those things part of you and you figure out, oh, okay, this is a character here. Like there's so many little instances and funny ideas and just great, like uh, great shows that I've seen and I would have never seen if I stayed in Hollywood. And so I feel really incredibly lucky to have taken that chance and luckily I, I had the ability to. So now once I am, make, once I, I do fully make that transition back, I have, you know, like rappers got notebooks full of rhymes. I got notebooks full of like, you know, script ideas and character ideas. And that's, that's what I always wanted to do to, to go and get it.